Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Kaiser Redux, in which we will read about the Great Purge. Political, many politicians within the socialist system have become vehemently opposed to a great chairman. The declaration by the AFL and the IWW that a Capone was not the legitimate leader, or was not the legitimate leader of America, has enraged Capone, who has ordered both organizations to be shut down and all members removed from the positions of power. That'll teach him. Hopefully. But as you can see, we have just invaded Africa after we've taken out all of South America. And we also need to take out Costa Rica, Central America, maybe, it depends, nah, they're still in the third, third international, technically. And we might take out, um, the United Mexican States, just because of borders. That's pretty much why, just probably just because of borders. Uh, but in the meantime, we do a six research slots, like normal. <clears throat> and, that's some of that, why not? Hopefully we can do well here, hopefully we can link up the lines, that'll be actually really good, the Great Purge Military. Oh boy, we love a few purges in the morning, don't we? Head on down, guys, if you can. It's come to the chairman's attention that many within our own armed forces have expressed anti-Capone sympathies. A reactionary could spell disaster for the nation, so it's important that we sniff out any signs of dissent within the ranks. That'll teach him even more. Oh, good. We only we only want 12% stability. That's all we wanted. St. Louis? Sure, why not? Also, we're sending all the other divisions, hopefully, over here as well. And they're just not coming over here yet because supply is just so god-awful. And you are in here. Very nice. Teach these guys a lesson. Very, very good. And we're still sticking some convoys all over the place, even though we've not yet finished up all of the focuses on the left side here. So we'll get through that stuff. The execution of Smitley Butler, with fear of counter-revolutionary infiltrating the revolutionaries infiltrating the army. Eyes have fallen on Smedley Butler, one of the main figures of, in the American forces. Many in the inner circle have accused Butler of engaging in anti caponist conspiracy, and thus they ordered him to be arrested after many hours of interrogation. Butler finally confessed to be plotting with, with a group of industrialists and mis business magnates to overthrow Capone. Following this, he was taken out back and shot in the head. Adio, compagno. Well, that really sucks. He was an extremely good field marshal, but that's actually weird. He was cons conspiring with other... <laughs> Business magnates and stuff like that, because historically, wasn't he part of the business plot? Like, or he was asked to be part of the business plot, and he said no. I'm pretty sure that's what happened, so. Oh, God, this is really not good. Uh, let's get some stuff down here, because supplies are just god-awful. So, yeah, that is ironic. Kind of ironic. Uh, in the meantime, just make sure everyone here has enough supplies, because moving through Africa is going to be a pain in the, the boot booty, booty, booty. Even though... The French is looking pretty good. Even the German Union looks like it's come back actually quite a bit. Uh, they're trying to finish up all the focuses within the tree here. And our list of technologies, it goes to the Union of Hanover. German Union, not too bad. Alright everyone, so, uh, the German Union is still here of course. We still have to get, take them out. The Netherlands and the local countries are here. But the Revolutionary Office of Strategic Services. Enemies to the revolution cannot be allowed to continue and stop forever. So to keep the nation secure, Comrade Capone has assembled an elite team of secret police known as the Ross. While at the moment Ross is a counterterrorism branch, its duties are expanding rapidly and its tactics are getting results. This branch of the government is under the command of Frank, of Comrade Frank Nitti, who is known as Capone's personal enforcer. With Nitti at the head of the Ross, America can be safe from the reactionary counter-revolutionaries that seek to undermine Comrade Capone. Long live the Ross, long live Chairman Capone, long live Marshal Nitti, and long live America. America can now be truly safe. Cool. And we're going to go ahead and expand this and get rid of the debuffed organization and such. As you see, we're struggling over here now just because, well... The National French basically went back home, but obviously Canadians did not. So this is a very weird world we live in. Very, very weird. God dang it. Now they're all coming down here. Man, why is the Third International so weak this time around? Uh, don't worry about attacking, guys. Don't worry about that. Just kind of hang out for now. Just, uh, I said, hang out. Hang out. Hang out, guys. Let's hang out. Nope, you're not going to win there. Nope, you're not going to win there. Actually, we need more air, some planes down here. Let's grab some more planes. Oh, no, we yeah, actually level 10 airbase right there. That's, not, that's pretty nice, actually. That's pretty nice. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So that the... Well, if we have to... Oh, we got more of that. That's nice. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? What else do we need? Tanks looking pretty good. Artillery is looking pretty good as well. Land auction looking pretty decent as well. Oh, I'll grab some more of that. More soft attack. Supplies are god-awful. What is the bottleneck that is hurting us? Nothing. Probably just moving. Uh, no, just it's looking pretty good all over the place, actually. It's just moving around in these very hot terrains. That's literally it. Okay, well. Alright, not bad. Even if we can't kill them all off, that's kind of okay. I just want to get to at least the focus tree, so. That's the most important thing to me, at least. 
I'm gonna do a cup of coffee to keep us nice and special. Special and warm. She all dies? Yes, please. That's fine. Uh, sure, grab some of that. Because you can. Let's see, Navy. How's it looking? It's French state. Okay. Um, I don't know why they go to war with those guys, but okay. Sure, why not? Oh. The Asian Empire, we lost a sub, but it is what it is. Why do they go to war with Italy? That's not... They're led by Pius the Twelfth now. There's a third tier Democrat, so... Okay. Very odd, and they're by themselves, right? So that kind of sucks for them. The Belgrade Pact? I don't hope they get attacked. Are we doing any better here now? Uh, maybe slightly? Maybe? Ah, good world Costa Rica, good. Let us go to war. With no organization, that's right. No organization, okay, have you guys get out of here. There you go. Nah, that's better. Are we still missing things? A lot of armored cars. That's probably the biggest thing. Alright. We're missing a lot of armored cars just because we need to put down a lot of resistance. But obviously we don't have enough. So, actually... Uh, ooh, modern tanks would be good to make as well. I just let time go on. It doesn't really matter too much. Lower this. Uh, go up to 15. Go down by 10. Actually, go to 5. We got, that's more than enough. Cool. Cool. Central America. I guess we go to war with Mexico just because. Eh, I'll revoke guarantee, that's fine. Just because it'll look better. That's, that's literally the only reason why. Expanding the Ross. It'd be nice. Um, okay, you guys could probably have to push out now. That's nice. I'm not sure where they went, but okay. Uh, you guys need more fighters here. Oh, we got a lot of cast. That's actually really nice, too, though. And... Lots of cast. Fighters, fighters, cast, fighters. But where the fighters go? Game? What did you do with my fighters? Alright, they did... Why did you put... Why did they put them down there? What the heck? Alright, well, that's very weird. Go and duplicate them, and there you go. There you go. <clears throat> Slovakia is gone, that's unfortunate, but oh well. Expand the Ross. Alright, so we'll do this next one. The old gang, cool. And what is this? Costa Rica? Nope. We don't believe in independent Costa Rica here. It's looking pretty nice, though, even though we need way more armored cars. Way, 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 way more. That's more medium tanks, too. Tactical bombers, no thanks. We don't believe in those right now. Cass, oh my goodness, there's too many ch garbage here. It's good enough. You guys doing pretty darn well as well. CV bombers, don't need that then. You guys. Oh, go. Oh, goodbye, Luxembourg. Yep, we have some technology, but I don't get through this stuff first because I don't want to deal with this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we'll grab some snorkels. Cool. Alright, so we should have a little bit more space here, right? We've got 100 things of that, 100 left. Get some naval bombers. Nice. Happy 1946, everyone. We need more armies down here, too. Mm, you guys moving in and around? That'd be good. Well, the next focus is done hopefully soon enough. Hopefully, we get some more stability as well. That'd be kind of nice. I think we will have to go to war with the German government in exile, too. That probably would be for the best. Wow! Whoa! Okay, when them going to Italy, Italy was not going to mess around. The Pope has called his armies forward. He's out of manpower. Never mind. 193. French state has quite a few, but then the Union of Britain is coming back. Atlee? Wait. Weren't you, wasn't he, isn't he in Thousand Week Reich? He's a syndicalist in this timeline. Maybe I'm thinking of someone else, but that seems very familiar. Montenegro's Wow. Wow. Cool. Alright, so you guys are looking pretty good. I'll throw you guys there. And we're, I'm kind of done buffing up this navy. 
One, two, three, four. Well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, what is seven, eight, nine? Get all the way up to there. Nine. Oh, we could do even English Channel maybe. That's 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 a max way we can do it. Oh, and actually, uh, who's got what here? The game won't tell me. What the heck? Oh, let's see. Nope. There you go. You guys actually come up there. A little better. There you go. Oh, no, that's nice. Sink the convoys. That should hurt them quite a bit. I want to help out the French. Or the French? I want to destroy the French. Hurt the, help the Italians out. Help them out. Help them out. Just get, get all the way down there if you can. Oliver Law. Anything? No upgrades? That sucks, but that's okay. You guys get all the way to Algiers, their capital. Nice. Maybe they're cut off here and they can't get supplies. And of course, we're, we're raiding them even harder, so. Yeah, screw the French state. I'm going to still have to contend with these guys, but hopefully they can get some more conscription. Oh, that's not good. No, oh, guys, you're not supposed to get encircled. Through all these battles, we have uh, one naval XP. Wow, that sucks. Nice. Good. There, have some radar there. Convoy escorts are nice. Let's grab some very curious stuff. Curious sub detection. Anything else? Nope. And then we've got mass collectivization. So it helps with resource efficiency gain, production cap, base cap. That's not bad. That's pretty nice. Pretty darn good. Uh, zero days left. Good. Mass collectivization. Collectivization. Nice. These are dark times. Albania is gone. Oh, that's okay. I'll read the next one. A nation of fear? Sure. People look over their soldier or shoulder when the soldiers came. The Ross Patriot the patrol the streets. And everyday little comrades come out with new last lists of traitors to the revolution. Political commissars patrol the ranks ready to snuff out any whispers of disloyalty. <clears throat> Every man, woman, and child in America lives in a state of fear. Fear of Capone and the Ross. The old gang. Capone's triumvir has long consisted of his most trusted allies. Jimmy Hoffa, who has been for years rallied the unions to his side. Lucky Luciana, who has reliably cemented America's place in the world. Benjamin and Bugsy Siegel, who has, Siegel has been launched America's industry into the new golden age. And Frank Needy, who has used the Ross under his command to stomp out any opposition to Chairman Capone. They are truly some of the most loyal and competent in America and worthy of Capone's inner circle. But with America's facade of a social state, the mafia's old managers still beginning to get a bad rap. And some in America question if Capone is true to social ideals based off of the company he keeps. So, the question is, or now presents itself. <clears throat> Uh, should Capone keep turning a blind eye to the doings of his compatriots, or should he make his cabinet give up the, the life of organized crime? Uh, totalism. Who cares if you make a little off the side? Give him a new life serving socialism. I'll do that one, why not? Get more totalism. We love totalism here. Totalism forever. Oh, look at that. Armor crews are nice. Uh, how, you are very deep into their territory. You can actually just hold and go to the other part of the line, which is fine with us. But you guys keep going, keep going. Oh, you're not going? Guys, would you, would you like to go? Let's go. It's got to be hot over here. It's got to be insanely hot. The Italians have done a great job. Wow. Of course, they're protected by the natural barriers of countries not involved in the war too much. You know, it looks like Austria is, maybe? Huh. All right, well, whatever. But once these guys fall, then they can push into here a little bit more, maybe. Uh, Italians, Union of British Soldiers, and us, working all together to take out the French state. The illegitimate French state. Anything else here? Send in the army? Um, sure, why not? We want more weekly stability anyways. Since we'll be basically lowering it anyways, so. Good, good, good. Keep spreading out. Nice, how much, how much uh, infrastructure do they have up here? Four? Three, not great, not bad. Oh, they even na naval invaded up there too. Nice, good job, guys. Uh, I'm considering going to war with these guys, but we do want to go to war with Mexico as well. So, oh, they're going to be death stacking up here, though. We should do okay. Let's get some more air bases around here. Who is it? Who's in charge of this army? Ah, cannon. Oh no. 
We don't want you guys. We want one, two, three, four. Get more planes. Uh, yeah, definitely get some more air bases up here. We definitely have enough divisions overall, but obviously could we, we could always use more airplanes. Eh, throw it down there, trying to spike us. Why not? There you go. Not bad. That's looking really good. That's looking really, really good. Get to Algier. These guys are almost done and dead. So close. Mass clock levelization. You find him, you kill him. Nope. Oh, anything else? No, not yet, not yet. Keep keep going, guys. Keep going. Alright, we're almost done with that one, which is nice. Three days left. Because we've got more fuel, but I guess technically we should probably do some naval doctrine first, especially for subbies. They're doing pretty darn well. Less torpedo reveal chance. Very nice. And more organization is very good, too. Alright, so what do we have here? Mass collectivization. Let you guys come over here. Uh, let's see, you get to, and you go up to here. Nice. New fleet. <clears throat> uh, young Blood Nance. Very good, very good. There you go. Uh, let's do the next focus first. And which we'll do a Nation of Fear. Nice. Actually, let's read Loyalty to Capone. Why not? Capone, before the start of the Second American Civil War, was a boss of a criminal syndicate that had many great sway over the country. That hasn't changed. Capone is still the boss. He is the boss of the entire nation. Don't you forget it. And we'll also do integrate the underground economy. I think I might have read this one, but the mafia has long operated in the black market. That's no secret. But the fact that we still do has raised questions. We should integrate the black and gray markets into the legal economy and rid ourselves of prohibition and the like. We'll also make a sweet profit, one that can be used to develop the nation and give a bonus to those loyal to Capone. Very nice. Sure, guys. You want to push back? That's fine with me. Uh, subs, there you go. Cancel, there you go, there you go. This is a good war these guys anyways, there you go. Good luck. And, how's the airbase looking here? A little better. Uh, do we have more fighters for here? Support from the Union of Britain. Did any envoy from the Union of Britain arrive? He brought with him promises of industrial assistance, naval advice, and technological support, along with kind words of admiration for our struggle. The capitals may be strong in fighting us at every turn, but with allies such as these, we will use them best regardless. Truly, workers' solidarity is shining out from the British Isles. British aid, look at that, finally, awesome. That's it. They get, we get factories in, was it, Wyoming and, what was it, what was the other one, West Virginia or something? That seems very off the beaten path, but okay. Gonna duplicate him, that's fine. Two, three, four. There you go. Degaussing, very nice, very nice. We will go to war soon. Do want to go to war with Spain and such, but oh look at that. Seriously? How are they able to hold on? Get your soldiers there. King of Morocco. Oh, they're in the Cairo pack. Maybe not then. Uh, probably these guys then. Nice. Snorkels, please. Thank you. Alright, now kill them off. There you go. There you go. Is there any way we can help them out and destroy the Entente? We could na technically naively invade up there. Fall of Algiers. Good, good, good. And again, I guess we're going to go to war with the, these guys down here, so. It is what it is. I guess we go to war with these guys first. Let's see. Hope they don't join anyone else. Can we actually invade okay like, maybe? Maybe not. Overall, yes. In some places, no. But some places, yes. The French collapse? No hope indeed. Very good, very good. Oh, the French state's gone. Well, let's pass for now. Let's get some more score. Um, hmm. I frankly don't care about too much. I kind of want the African territories just because we, we can. I do want to give the Union of Britain, though, all of... Uh, hmm. At least the low countries. At the very least, the low countries. Just because they were fighting for so long for these guys. So we'll give them to that. Good, good, good. There you can have all the little countries under you. Uh, I want to give Italy some stuff too. 
Italian Federation, where's Italy? I want to make sure they get a large portion of this. We don't, I don't want uh, this part of France. So again, of Corsica. Do you have any new? Okay, that's good. The Kingdom of Spain has cores on this. Claims, at least. Hmm. I think I want to give it to the Union of Britain still. Hmm. Italy won't get very much out of this, but the Union of Britain actually might be able to do something here, maybe? I'm not really sure. Hmm. I can split them up into two. But that'd be, that would weaken them greatly. Commune of France again? That would protect Italy. I'm thinking about protecting Italy, at least for now. Screw it, we'll just give them all of this. Except for all this stuff. Because I want this stuff. Good, good, good. Um, is there any other ter- I don't think they have any overseas territories, do they? They probably don't. It's alright then. Oh god, we're gonna get- Our city's gonna get hit so hard. I said we we're gonna only focus on America. Obviously that was a lie. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Montenegro's gone. Okay. Well, I can send- uh, Let's send 24. 30 is a bit much. 30 is a bit much for this area here. Quite a bit much. <sighs> Africa. That's a lot of resistance, too. How are we doing with resistance? It was minus 20,000 earlier. Now it's... How much? A lot of lag, because the French state is probably getting tanking out. Guns looking not too bad. Minus 24,000. Okay, we need more. We just need more. No wonder it's not very good. And we're armored cars. Fifteen, 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 twenty-five. 15, 15, 15, 25. That's fine. I don't want to lower that. Go by 15... We got way too many guns. Uh, lower you to 15 as well. We need way more chromium as well at this point. Which is not very good. Yeah, I've got to focus more on armored cars. Make more military factories. There you go. Nice. Alright, what else do we have? Half tracks. Grab some of that. That'd be good. Well, the Communal Republic is gone. That's not good. Oh, the Commune of France is back. Look at that. You know, they probably can't defend themselves very well. They're justifying on the Spanish, though. Actually, without them being... Wait. Why did... Why did they release that, then? What was the point of that? Oh, how are we doing in New Mexico? Pretty darn nice. Nicely, actually. Nation of Fear. And then we'll do an integrate the underground economy. Pretty good. And we'll wait for the other divisions to get here before we go to war. And let's take a massive effect of stability. Nope. 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 I do it just because it helps improve la lag, or reduce lag. Stability, we didn't need stability, you know. There you go. And you're gonna get more war support too, so. Alright. We got way too many garbage guns here. I definitely don't want to get hit the counter, so we have like negative 60,000 guns, so. Hopefully, we get rid of our deficit of armored cars, too. We can get some military police as well, that'll help out slightly. It's looking slightly worse, but then again, making more military factories. That, we make factories very quickly. 55, should jump up to 56, 60, okay, nice, nice, 34 days, not bad. Ball of Mexico City is pretty nice as well. Start, keep helping out with the production lines for now, you guys are kind of done over there. I'm going to send you guys over to Europe so we can take out maybe Morocco next, just because we can. How are the Japanese faring against them? Actually, no, we won't take out Morocco since they're already allied with other people. Oh, you guys are already done there, that's nice. Oh, you're probably going to get hit pretty harshly down there. Um... Let's hold for now. I'm not sure where we can go, really. Wow, that sucks for you guys. Ooh, Italy, you gotta hold up there, man. Can we take out Spain? Maybe we take out Spain. Oh, there goes Mexico. Thank you, Mexico. We said we wanted to be friends, and we do. But I think it's better than being friends. There you go. Go and reorganize yourself like this. 
And I'll take off all their extra lines down here soon. Actually, I'm going to send you guys to Africa, too. We're going to need help down here. And then you guys... Just going to hang out. Actually, for you guys, instead of this and that... Can you get to here? That might be actually okay for us. Alright, so you guys... Get some more guys here. Thank you. Let time go on. Do that. Do that. But actually, you guys are done here, too. Central America, we have no... Reason why we should be doing that for now. You guys go down in there. Good luck. Any upgrades for young blood nants? Uh, uh, good. Good. There you go. Alright, so for you guys, Albania is gone once again. We're going to get hit very harshly here. So they're going to attack us quite a bit here. If we lose this tile, we're, we're kind of sunk. But they're taking a lot of attrition and such. We're doing okay for now. The homie needs to die. 180 days, that's way too long. But we'll drain him by just defending here, so that's not too bad. Oh, look at that. Mexico. Military occupation, because we didn't like stability anyways. Loads to do the boss, shall we? We shall. Up oh, next, Capone's Vision of America. Capone is the unquestioned boss of America, just as he was the unquestioned ruler of Chicago. America is at his whim and under his five-year plan. The American people will prosper once more. The Ross has taken care of reactionaries and destroyed rumors of the Capone's deteriorating mental state. America is born anew. All shall bow down to the boss. Nice, we get Capone's new deal. Eventually we get Caponism. Oh, is that Armenia? Austria's gone. Now that America's recovered from the Second Civil War, Capone can begin introducing his new policies collectively referred to as Caponism. With this, Capone's allies will receive hefty bonuses while his enemies will be economically disadvantaged. Uh, or crushed, but the people will never know that they are ignorant in the ways of the government, and they blindly trust that Caponism will bring them prosperity. Let's hope so. Actually, we got some more technology being done first. Let's uh, let's do this one. Escort carriers first. Uh, we should probably get some integrated convoy defense. That'd be nice. More de Ooh, organization for destroyers. Nice. Zaffir's done for them. That's not bad. Cool. And we're still holding on here pretty nicely. They're not attacking as much, which kind of sucks, but whatever. We could enable invade too. Uh, let's grab some better mechanized. I should get some mechanized, period. Not bad. Not bad. You guys. There you go. Dar es Salaam. Actually, we really want to. We could probably just start doing some of this stuff. There we go. Alright, improves. Stuff there, pressure mines. Oh, a little bit of lag because of auto saving. And boom, boops and ruckles. All right, I do want to read the next one too. Five, Capone's five-year plan. Capone's new economic policy has resulted in great growth for the nation. However, it isn't just enough yet. America needs to be completely industrialized. The sky needs to be black with smog, and all America needs to be a vast urban jungle. The five-year plan for the development of the American economy will build vast industrial projects that will make America's infrastructure the world standard. Nice. Get some more infrastructure, civilian, and military factories in Virginia. Mine laying, and they'll probably go this one. Torpedo tubed mine deployment. Why not? Because we can. Can you guys actually naval invade successfully here? Yeah, might be able to. Calabar, that's a great place to go in Victoria 2, I think. Last time I remember. We actually have to might send. We actually might need to send down our normal navy down here. There you go. There you go, you go over there as well, and Cabinda, Cabinda, something like that. <clears throat> Our losses, well, we've lost 17,000. This is a lost, wow, that's a lot. I'm sure they got a lot of manpower, right? Air production, they have no fuel, which is good. So they can't power the ships. Lower to the boss is very nice. Amer Capone's vision of America, very, very good. Some convoys have been sunk, very nice, very nice, very nice. How's Italy holding up? Probably not that well. Oh, they're doing relatively okay, actually. I don't know why the Commune of France that owns that, though. That seems... They're not even touching. Yeah, they're not even touching, which is not good, but... Leon Joao? Huh. Plan Prost. So, what's the Union of Britain going to do now? Are they fighting Morocco? Muscat, Muscat, okay. Well, they're still attacking. Still a bunch of crazies in the German Empire, but that's alright. 
If everyone help them out here too. We want to make obviously more military factories, but like roads are pretty important too. So Burkina Faso or Guinea? Hmm. All right. Anything else around here? Uh, you can improve the infrastructure here if you really want to as well. It doesn't really matter to me too much. No enemy ships are a little disappointing. That's all right. German ships go bye bye, bye bye bye. Could you guys actually do anything here? I kind of doubt it. Yeah. Evans is kind of stuck here, which kind of sucks, but hey. Just keep defending. We've killed off, what, 400,000? 420,000 of them off? And we're almost done with our naval reduction. Very nice. <clears throat> Alright. So that's looking a little better now. I think at this point, we finally have enough armored cars that we can make almost 90 a day. Actually, almost 90 a day still. And it's getting that much better, so that's actually really nice. And these guys only require steel, which we have plenty of steel. Can we get any more chromium from anybody? Central America? Thank you, Central. Oh, okay then. Nice. I'll let them just kill themselves on the line. I do want to go to war with Spain, though. But it's going to take so long. I'm trying to figure out how to navally invade them correctly. It might take a Oh, oh, oh I guess we can go to war with them. Hmm. All right, well. I guess we're coming up to our run. Even though they've been building up for years, they probably have a big old navy too. Oh, they have no manpower. Or army, I should really say. Actually, what's their navy like, actually? It's a good question to ask. It could launch us into Europe. Oh, the fleet's not terrible. It's not great, though. It's really not great. Let's get some air bases here first. And grab some of that, too. There we go. Aerial mine laying is very cool. Let's grab some of that. Mine sweeping. We can go to war with these guys, but we're not going to go to war just yet. 2,000 planes is not enough. Go up. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. Very, very nice. And we'll be ready soon. The mad boss of America in recent days, Chairman Capone, has begun to display what some may call erratic behavior. While some are considering this to be par for the course for the boss, others are beginning to worry of a mental degradation due to his active sexual life on top of the stresses of being the leader of the commune. When mentioned or asked on his own well-being, he seems to be adamant that he is completely fine for right now. Nobody's willing to say otherwise, with many being too worried about becoming the next individual to disappear thanks to the Ross. Capone's secret police. Some groups, however, may now be starting to keep a closer look upon the coming decisions and actions that the boss takes. All bow to the boss. Caponism, my friends. Which I didn't think I already read, so if you'd like to do that again, please go right ahead. And we're just preparing for a course war against the Spanish. And we need to go to war by July the 4th, but we have a bunch of guys coming over here anyways, which will be very, very good. Uh, oh, wow. Capone, you're looking a little different there. Wow. He's a boss, a terror in the night, as well as Scarface. Yes, please. Reorganize a syndicate government. <clears throat> the current government has been made too centralized. We must highly decentralize the government and let each state tend to their own business. Each state will become an independent syndicate in charge of all except for foreign affairs. This will ensure, ensure the rule of the people away from the central government of Chicago. Oh, that does not good. The death of Capone. After a long decline in health, Al Capone, the savior of our nation, has passed away. His many accomplishments have been celebrated as a national week of mourning has been declared. His final days were spent in almost complete insanity as his deliberating syphilis rendered him to having the mind of a 12-year-old child. His final hours were spent in his office where he suffered a heart attack, a final heart attack that ultimately killed him. Capone's inner circle have now put all their, aside their differences into stables in America, even though they all plan to stab each other in the back. The chairman will be missed. Um, so this one says, we need a Capone to live. Ooh. The list grows longer and longer. <clears throat> As Comrade Capone's health declines, Capone relegates more and more of his authority to the Ross leader Frank Nitti. With Nitti in command of more and more of the state, he has launched a large initiative to keep the threat of reactionaries and the government down. This means drafting up terrifying long lists of suspected reactionaries. All the reactionaries on the vast list will meet a traitor's death. And we did the five years plan. Um, uh, if we don't... Oh, oh man. With this one, we have to have Capone alive. So basically, I don't want to do this, but I have to use Khan's commands because I want to see what this one does because we can't take this if he dies so we click that we can't do this one so i guess we'll do focus dot no check oh, actually autocomplete i guess that's what it is i apologize for using this but i want i i went down this route to see exactly what would happen so let's see what happens reorganize the syndicate government we change your flag look at that um let's go longer um i think if even if he dies it will still be okay so we don't need to do this anymore so let's just take a Caponism. actually let's see let's click on this first and see what happens the Capone's successor Oh, look at that. Oh, now we need no checks. God dang it. 
uh, Capone's successor. Now the chairman Capone is dead, a power struggles emerge between his close allies. Lucky Luciano leads in moderate faction while Capone's a personal enforcer and head of the OSS leads to hardlines. While John Dillinger sits on the sidelines waiting for to support either faction, who has won the power struggle? Cameron Nitti in the OSS takes control. Marshal Dillinger takes command of the state. Uh, Cameron Luciano. Hoffa? I like Jimmy Hoffa. Um, we already see his par his portrait, so... Oh, that's not bad. Oh, let's go with Hoffa. Why not? Let's go with Hoffa. Not bad. So, god dang it. I don't like this. So we have to do this again. Focus. No. And then focus. Got no checks. I forgot. I did read that Capone will die in 47 no matter what you do. So, so let's disable both. That's good. And I'll just go with Capone's five-year plan next. Now that America has recovered from the second American Civil War, Capone can begin introducing his new policies collectively referred to as Caponism. These sets of reforms seek to ensure a basic income for all citizens <clears throat> relative to social class <clears throat> and social credit, an overhaul in the system of money to make it so the currency can be inflated and deflated by your social credit score. Of course, the social credit score is completely arbitrary and rewarded solely based on your loyalty to the boss. With a system, corruption is no longer the dark underbelly of modern politics. It is politics. It is a system, and nobody can escape it anymore. Capitalism is just a legitimate racket of the ruling class, and we get Caponism. More political power, resource efficiency gains, stability. Not bad. A lot of good stuff. A lot, a lot of good stuff. And did some put some more planes here, so. It would have been kind of cool to see what other portraits there are for, like, Nita and other, and other individuals like that. <clears throat> but hey, 20% stability is not bad. Cool. And we're still doing pretty well down here. They keep attacking us like crazy, which is not bad. Not bad. Pressure mines. Spanish operative captured. <clears throat> they must know we want to go to war with them. You know, you drink a lot of water, but then your voice is still clock. Capone's wild ride, or wild parties. Word has come down from the highest echelons of the syndicate. <clears throat> the chairman Capone may be slowly becoming more and more unhinged, likely. The boss has been throwing multiple parties, some lasting days on end. The parties, while not completely out of character for Capone, have been getting more and more out of hand, and the aftermaths have been harder and harder to keep out of the sight of the public, who, upon hearing upon them, may have a change of heart towards a venerable leader. These parties have been a large sink of money, but on top of that... Uh, the reports come from the aftermath are highly disturbing, including events such as sexual assault and regular assault, and as well as some people even dying during party due to overdoses on the exorbitant amount of drugs that are present at these parties. All these things considered have begun to put the thought into the mind of Capone's second in command that he's finally begun a final irredeemable descent into a total syphilitic madness thanks to the disease. Only time can now tell how the response will play out, but some are beginning to believe that the nation is witnessing the self-induced downfall of the boss. Oh dear. Well, he's dead already, so... I forgot that he was going to die in 47. I really did. Oh, uh, well, guys, why are you going through... Oh, there goes... Hell of a commune. So, J July 4th, I think, was the day we needed. So, 4... Uh, hopefully, we can invade successfully. That's my only hope, is that we can invade successfully. God, I hope we can do it. Just... I need one tile here. One, two, three. Algiers, go up to there. Hopefully one of these groups make it. I go for two. Nice. Go to war by the fourth, literally July the fourth. Nice. Very good. Very good. We got some radar beginning here, which is nice. You guys have no orders. Light bombardment. Um. There you go. There's your light bombardment. Fighters. You can go there too if you want. It's fine. June 22nd, another tank division, Capone's New Leaf. As the days have gone on, things have become more and more interesting surrounding the actions of Chairman Capone. A new development in his mental status has emerged. And to many surprises, it isn't exactly what most would call a bad one. Recently, while Capone has shown a stack lark of care in the actual lives of people of his nation, mostly working to further himself and his own party's goals, the boss has recently begun to have a change of heart. No longer is he being as selfish as he was. He has, he's now beginning to put out proposals to make life better for the nation's citizens. Well, of course, the citizens have welcomed this with open arms, as well as some of the people in his party. Many more see this as a threat to their own power, and are concerned that he's going to continue to give away more and more of what they've earned. The fear that he may soon give away something as precious as a power they fought so hard to solidify in their own hands is becoming reality, and many are beginning to consider what means they have at their disposal to remove him from power. However, this may become more difficult with the newfound support from the people that Capone is now enjoying through his more progressive policies that he's been passing. Yay? Yay. Lots oh, that is not looking good for them either. Nice. Manpower-wise, they're running out. Awesome. Can you guys actually win here? Or is it still June? That's good. Alright, guys. How many more days do you need for this? You don't need any more. Alright, let's attempt it, I guess. 
To war with Spain, I suppose. It's probably not good. The French can go to war with them soon as well, too. Which is not good as well, but whatever. I think maybe split them up with the French. I don't care. Alright, we're off. Hopefully we find use a lot of naval bombers or whatever we have down here. Oh, yeah. They're starting to shoot us. That's not good. Hmm... Some naval bombers, what the heck? I'm pretty sure it puts them down, but maybe they left? I don't know. It doesn't really matter which ones we use. Not too much, no. Keep going. Oh, we actually landed. Look at that. We actually landed. You guys spread out immediately. There you go. Uh, you go up here with these guys and go up there. Go. You three go right here as well. Spread out. Go, everyone. Go, 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 go. German operative captured. Nice. We got this tile too. All three of you come right here as well and spread out. Except you. You're going to go right here. Go right there first. We got some naval bombers hopefully in the air soon. Nice. Spread out so we can kill them off. Get some supplies through here. Nice. Take all but one. Go right there as well. Good. Oh, wow. What's going on over here? Good, good, good. And we have gotten there. Oh, wow. There's a lot of Spanish ships here. We got a lot of planes, too, which is nice. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Since so you're basically all here at this point. There we go. We should have enough ports to do well here. Just go and defend for now. Let's grab some more ports. Supplies are going to be quite a bad thing for us. Valencia. There you go. Shooting down a lot more convoys is just very nice. Just give us some more time. We'll have enough divisions up there. So, Alright. Good, good, good. And uh, can we push in actually at this point? Maybe, maybe not. Oh, look at that. The false Sydney. How's, how's Japan doing? Japan's doing very well down there. They've done a very good job against Russia. We love that. Shooting down loads and loads and loads of enemy planes and stuff. Nice. Alright, and I guess we'll go with the list grows longer. Uh, nice. More stability, more totalism. I love totalism here, right? Sail building, building, building. What is a supply bottleneck? Wow, that's really bad, actually. That's extremely bad. Just keep building, 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 building. The more we build, the faster we get some supply through here, so. Oh, look at that. Nice. Um, advanced light ships, modern light ships. Don't require chromium. Make some more convoys, why not? Oh, look at the... Uh, Armored cars looking pretty good. Only 12,000 needed. Not bad, not bad. Have we made another one yet? Oh, we're so close. So close. we got to wait three days. We'll get quite a bit more supply through here. Hey, oh, mine sweeping is very nice. We'll grab some of that. Doesn't really matter. All right, it's August 6th. And we should have a little bit more supply. Three, nine, what the heck? Is it because of infrastructure? It's probably because of infrastructure. That's probably what's up. Hmm... But even then, we built some more up. If that's the case, um, I don't want... I want you two. No, I'll take you. Come back down here to Oran. There we go. Integrated convoy defense. Good, good, good. Got some recon. That'd be nice. Get out of there so we have slightly more supply. I like guess not much better, but we'll still take it. There you go. Oh boy, that's not good. That's not good. Can I actually help out here then, maybe? No? Alright, just hold on. We'll get supply fixed here, eventually. Oh! Oh, that's not good. Alright, so you guys... Oh, since you guys are down here anyways. Actually, where are you guys at? Come on over. I forgot that they own part of Africa. Oh, you guys are down here already. Oh, we set ourselves up for success. Nice. Go, go, go. Oh crap, that's not good. 
I'm glad we moved some soldiers out of here because supply is really bad. Come on, keep making more infrastructure, keep making more supplies. You guys will do fine down there. How are we doing against Germany, actually? But I did ask you guys yesterday which way we should go down for this route. So Socialist liberation or socialism in one nation. Overall, there's more support for, currently, socialism in one nation. The internationalist factions in our country are naive. They think that we have the ability to invade countries thousands of miles away, but we barely even have recovered from the Civil War. If we overreach, we could lose everything we've worked for. Instead, let us focus our efforts on our neighbors and ourselves and create socialism in one nation. So, that is the route we are going to go down. Well, Barcelona. Ah. Good. God, using 40 combos here is a bad idea. How is supply not getting any better? I don't understand this. I literally don't understand this. We've improved infrastructure. We've improved the ports. There's there's no, literally nothing else we can do here. A part of the is the resistance strength. That actually might be it. The air needs a little bit, but required. Uh, the army needs, of course, a lot, but still. Look, control local plus three, bottlenecks zero. Hmm. Come on over, guys. You're doing a good job. It's good. You guys just come on over here. Let time go on. Uh, might actually be able to take Gibraltar, actually. Maybe. We'll see. Let's go stronger, longer. Socialism in one country. Uh, let's see. Mexico's technocratic revolution. Oh, we can't do that because we need James Burnham. That sucks. Hmm. It must be Colombia. Well, what about this one? Uh, Ontario must accept socialism. The heartland of Canada and the former refugee or refuge of the British Empire must be brought out of its bourgeoisie shell of reactionary sentiments and into the future. Of course, its high population density means this won't be as simple as it seems. Dealing with Quebec. Quebec has lived under the heel of imperialism for too long and we've finally been liberated by our government. Still, many of these populations foolishly insist on not being integrated into North America and instead desire a separate political system. Spreading propaganda, investing in the region, and supporting your fellow socialists there, followed by their organizing their techniques, should rectify the dilemma. So I guess when I play as Burnham, we should go down that, this route as well, so that seems to make some sense. And then Greater New England. With New Earth East Canada firmly under our control, we can finally begin to integrate New Brunswick and Halifax into America, making use of both their resources and their ports. Cool. There you go, guys. If you need to do that, that'd be fine. They're still attacking us, but we're, they can't really beat us up, so that's good. Two days left. Submarine defensive. We'll be done with our naval doctrine. Nice engineering. Get some, get some nukes. That'd be good, right? We love nukes. Is this looking any better at all? Not really, no. Well, France is doing a good job against these guys. I just want you guys to go. If you guys do that, that's pretty bad. Yeah, I, I would not advise that. So go and stop. Yeah, supplies. I mean, it was minus 3%. This is so dumb. I mean, look at that. Look at the naval base. Level 1? How's it level 1? Were you guys already defeated? What the heck? Yeah, this sucks. Get out of there. Did they already leave? Huh. There you go. 9 out of 1? Alright, so this was a terrible idea. I don't know... Okay, so this is this is really bad. This is god-awful. Like, what the hell is going on down here? Okay, this army's dead. I'm taking everything then. Let's go get out of there. That, that's so bad. You invade, but you can't get any more supply in here. Like, that's, that's insanely bad. That's insanely bad. I don't care what anyone says. That's so stupid. I made sure we had more than enough supply in here, and yet it's still not enough. Look at all these ports we've built. So many ports. I'm taking all of Spain. I don't care. Look at that. Level 10. Level 10. Level 4. Level 3. Level 6. That's more than enough supplies for anything here. That's way more than enough. Way, 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 way more than enough supplies. That's complete BS. That's 100% complete BS. That pisses me off. I don't... That's just so dumb. Oh my god. Just kill the Germans off at this point. Just go. They just killed off thousands of, of us. How? That's that's cheating. That's got to be cheating or something like that. Holy crap. I don't tolerate crap like that. Are you kidding me? With all the stuff we built up there, everything we built up, and still no supplies? Yeah, BS. 
That's complete BS. 100% BS. Especially with minus 30% supply consumption, and even more so because of our support companies. Yeah, no. No. We're going to go straight on in, and I don't care. We're just going to hit every single one of them as hard as possible. I mean, look at all that. Look at all that we built. And that's still not enough? Such BS. Level 9 infrastructure as well. Yeah, something, something's messed up right there. Something's seriously messed up. Save the tanks for North, North Africa. How many, how many Spanish have died? Not enough. We barely killed any of them. That's that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. That should be that's that's got to be a glitch in the game or something. That's got to be a glitch. We're going in. I don't I don't care. I'm going to kill every single last Spaniard here if it, if it even if it ends us. Get in here. Go 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 go. I don't care how many it takes. All of you guys, come up here. I want everyone. You've got to move now. Go, go. Kill them all off. Kill every single last one of them off. Guys, are you going to move or not? Don't. Just go. Go, go. Go, go. I don't care what it takes. I'll kill off the entire army if I have to. Send all the tanks in. Kill them all off. Every single last one of them has to die. Go, 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 go. Every Spaniard will regret being born. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Like, the amount of supply you don't get through here is insane. Like, you should be able to transport goods through here. I know we don't own Gibraltar, but you should still transport supplies through here, up to here. That doesn't make any sense why we can't do that. You need to get down here. Loyalists. Supporters from the British Empire are using our, our restructuring in Ontario in effort, into efficient, proletariat friendly techniques as an opportunity to claim we are attacked British culture. Lead, lead of former British officers and rightist acti activists in the area are doing what they, whatever they can to oppose their efforts, including mass protests and guerrilla attacks, which we do. Launch a counter propaganda and sabotage campaign. All right. Yeah, whatever. We'll do the best we can, regardless. Kill every single last one of them off. Come on, take the rock. I don't even care that these guys get encircled. No, that's open supplies. Yeah, we should have open, completely 100% open supplies. Fall of Gibraltar is good. Don't tell me that's the only thing that's limiting us here. Because we, we have we have more than enough supplies. The game is seriously messed up right now. Holy crap. Yeah, it's completely messed up. Yeah. Spain? I don't know. This is this doesn't make any sense. This literally makes no sense. It's always good to find things that don't make sense in the game. But, like, seriously? Alright. Let's zoom on out. Dealing with Quebec. Ontario Technic. It was not an easy task to create the Ontario administrative region and organize it into the Artechnet. The population is massive and their loyalty to Canadian identity is strong, but while in the near future full cultural annexation won't be possible, we've at least started th stared them in that direction. Increased their efficiency and made rebellions more difficult to organize against the American worker. Victory is inevitable. Nice. Yeah, seriously, wh what's going on here? Why can't we get any more supplies? I don't, I don't understand this. I literally don't even understand this. Of all things, Spain is a problem to take out. All these supplies is not enough. Not enough. How?
We got more than enough supply in here, but the game says no. Like, how? 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 Stability? Stability is 39%, which isn't too bad. We actually get more stability every week. Fall of Madrid? Thank God. Just kill them all off if you can. Yep, well, at least we found a glitch in the game. That's not good. The more I play Kaiser Redux, the more, the more problems we find. How's this part looking? Not great, huh? Even Africa has more supply for us than Spain. That makes no sense. Now you guys have enough supply here. How? How? How do you guys have enough supply? I mean, this is literally just glitched in the game. 18 out of 15. Yeah, no. That's, that doesn't make any sense. It makes literally no sense. Unless they didn't have any of this territory core. Is this just claims? The resistance is not high enough for us to have supply issues here. So, Spain is messed up. Spain is seriously messed up. Yeah, resistance is not that high. This is incredibly stupid. Now it's 3 out of 56? I mean, yeah, Spain is glitched to all hell is back. I'm taking all of Spain, I don't care. Well, yep, I don't care what the French want, I'm taking it all of it. That pissed me off, I'm sorry guys, but that, that's... No, that just, that doesn't make any sense. That makes literally no sense. Spain should have been so much easier. So much easier than that. This is the only time I've ever had difficulty with Spain. Literally the only time. Ever. That's so incredibly stupid. That turns me off on this campaign. Screw it. I, I, I'm sorry, guys, but I, I gotta finish this campaign. So, I'm just... 94... No. I'm just gonna use focus. Like, I just wanna see what if there's anything here, so... Alright, dealing with Quebec. I'm not gonna bother with anything else. Uh, Great New England. Cool, we were that one. Road to Alaska. Americanizing British Columbia will be an arduous task, and usually one we would not undertake if not for strategic importance. Specifically, this is a, in geographically bridging our nation and the vast resources of the region. Moving our citizens into the area and banning capitalist culture will aid in our new social manifest destiny. The new settlers. The Northwest Territories and their vast, underused natural resources are now in a prime position to fully absorb in America by sending a new wave of settlers into the region, like the Western Americans of not long ago. But this time around, the settlements will be organized and civilized from the start, organized the North. We've already stretched thin into Eastern and Central Canada due to our annexation efforts. However, we cannot yet outright annex the region that we can finish creating and organizing its industries and envelop it into the mainstream economy while paving a path for annexation in the future. Uh, demand at Suriname. Suriname still tools for distant European power. We should break the power of the Dutch in this region and liberate it so that their people and resources are no longer exploited. This will give us another photo into South America, social appeals. There are parts of Canada that will be easier to pacify than others. At this time, we should target the low population areas of the Northwest. These areas will take less money and resources to bring into the fold than the Central European, Central and Eastern regions. We can do this by making appeals to certain so socialist values and policies that will benefit the people and living in these areas. Let's make this area ours once and for all. Uh, if you want to about this one, please go ahead. Expand California. If you want to about this one, please go ahead. As you can tell, I'm just kind of done with this campaign. If you like to read about that, please go right ahead as well. Oh, sweet Columbia. And Social Empire. Cool. Um, we have some other stuff here. I guess technically we, we're not going to do that one just because we shouldn't be able to. Uh, if you want to about that one, please go right ahead. Maybe of a new age. But yeah, like... I don't, I, I don't understand how Spain, with all that supply... The game was saying that we did not have enough supply. That was a complete lie by the game. I know that's a complete lie. Alright, let's see some of the events that will pop up. <clears throat> Alright, so boldness of science. If you like to read about this, please go right ahead. Liberate from the earth. We should liberate the atom. Cool. Northwest is ours. If you want to read about that, please go ahead. We get cores on Yukon territory, Northwest territory. Mexico, Mexico's final revolution. Very cool. Mission accomplished. Seeing for Colombia, the road to Alaska is, is American. Cool. But I think that's going to be it for me here. I mean, yeah, I can go to War with Portugal, but I'm like after this whole Spanish debacle, like this is this literally made no sense. This made no sense. Even if we got Gibraltar. Or Cadiz. 
it doesn't make any sense. So because the AI should be able to get you supply through North Africa, up to Algiers, up through here as well, because it's still access is allowed. So technically, even if we don't own Gibraltar, we should still be getting supplies through here. But regardless, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow in another video. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.